I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wrenches in my top drawer of my snap on box. Of my snap on box. I think I'm missing. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pliers in my bottom drawer of my snap on box. Get ready to fix some cars. Get ready to fix. Let's go! Hey, what's up guys? This is MJ100K and just when I think I'm out, they drag me back in. I was going to stop making videos about UTI and Lincoln Tech, but I keep getting comments on my old videos about how much they cost and how much of a scam they are. So now I'm all triggered and I'm upset because I don't like these schools. I don't like when people try to rip off other people. I don't like uh, pyramid schemes. I don't like things like that and I don't like UTI and Lincoln Tech. So this is a video of what I would do to Lincoln Tech if he were a person. Take that. Alright, this is what I would do to UTI if UTI were a person. I don't I don't like them even worse than Lincoln Tech. Stop charging people so much money. It's no, like you. All right, all right, let me calm down. I'm gonna show you how to get a job as an auto mechanic for less than $700 without going to school at all. Now, I'd like you to go to community college, but that's not in the cards for everybody. Everybody's a little different. So anyway, this plan will probably take you about four to six months to complete approximately a this is the same plan that I did basically, except for I did go to community college. So I'm gonna to try to supplement that in this plan. Um, I could, I give you a 99% chance that this plan will work. And you know what, worst comes to worst, you'll be out 700 bucks if you become a mechanic and don't like it. But if you go to UTI or Lincoln Tech, you'll be out thousands more dollars than that. So what you're gonna need knowledge tools and experience i'm going to go through each one step by step so step number one is knowledge okay you're going to need a little bit of knowledge before you become even an entry level mechanic but a good thing happened books were created and you could buy those books and read them here's an audio book i found on amazon and guess what if you sign up for this uh audio thing uh, for 30 days you get this book for free so just sign up and then cancel it before 30 days <laughs> and then you add a book for free this is the book i first got uh auto repair for dummies and it's a good book uh, i recommend it it might be 20 bucks or so you can also get uh auto mechanic fundamentals books just read through them go to the library this is great. This G1 is a new certification that ASC offers, auto maintenance and light repair. Uh, this is a good certification. It doesn't go towards making you a master tech. Uh, they didn't have this cert when I was a mechanic, but you can go ahead and get the study guides for this G1 test and sign up on ASC's website to go take it at, a, at like a ProMetric site and it's like 50 60 bucks to take this test and once you get it you can put that on your resume and that'll show people that you have at least an entry level idea and you are certified to uh to be an entry level tech it's awesome three book three books and one asc cert about 120 bucks boom that's not a lot of money you could afford that so step two is tools okay tools and toolboxes you're gonna need some tools to get started as a mechanic. Even some places you don't even need that, they'll give you tools, but um, I would get some tools of my own. Don't get a giant set like this Craftsman set though. These are total ripoffs um, because you don't need SAE tools. You only need metric right now. And it's $500, yeah, I don't think so. That's way too much. And those ratchets are super heavy and they are terrible. Don't get those. Look at my video. This $100 starter tool set is on my page from Harbor Freight. 
In this tool set, you will get things like long reach pliers, regular pliers, rubber mallets, screwdrivers, 3-8 socket, sockets, metric, shallow and deep, a swivel, uh, diagonal cutters, and 3-8 extension, and also a little pick set. Um, you're going to need a toolbox to look on Craigslist. You could get something used. This snap on one was like 100. This craftsman one is like 50. Uh, some of these toolboxes will even come with tools. Uh, the old, you can get a new one from Lowell's for like 120 bucks. This is similar to the first one I had. As long as it has locks and wheels, you'll be fine. Okay. So, if you want to be super fancy pants, you can get this one from Harbor Freight. I have this one too. It says 240 bucks on the website, but I got mine for 150. So just wait for them to go on sale if you got to be king fanciness over there with the new toolbox. Um, you're definitely going to also need a service cart. Uh, you can put your tools on there and wheel them over to the car. Uh, it's, you can't just drag your whole box over there. So. This is the same service card I got, and it's about 50 bucks now. Sometimes it's on sale. You can get them at Harbor Freight or Amazon. Uh, you're gonna need a little bit of, okay, so you got beginner knowledge, one ASC cert, and your $100 tool set. That is awesome, not that much money. About 380 bucks invested so far. Not a big deal, a lot less than $20,000. So for about another 300 bucks worth of tools, you can be totally ready. This would be even more ready than I was. You get a little work light. Light is a mechanic's best friend. You wanna get all different types of lights. This one's about 24 bucks. Um, it looks like it works. I, I don't have this one, but the reviews say it's pretty good. You can get whichever one you want, but get a light. This Ingersoll Rand is one, I, I have an Ingersoll Rand one that's badged as Matco, but they make great air tools. And this one is a good deal, 114 bucks. It's got about 600 foot pounds of torque. My first air gun had about 350 foot pounds. So this should be more than adequate to do what you need to do as an entry level tech, which will be uh, getting off and putting on lug nuts on wheels and you'll need a little um, a few sockets of you know 15 17 19 21 and 22 should do it these have little plastic sleeves on them so you don't mess up the wheels only 20 bucks you could get one of those you'll definitely use these now they'll have these at the shop but it's always better to have some of your own so you know where it is you can find it quickly get yourself a half inch drive breaker bar just in case your gun isn't strong enough to get off a lug nut, you could use this and that'll get it off. Get you some oil filter pliers and a little universal adapter for oil changes. You'll definitely be doing those. Oil changes don't make a lot of money for a shop, but the inspections where you find stuff, they do make money. So they have the new guys doing oil changes and doing little, in little inspections definitely want to get some cap the, these are for oil filter oil filters you put these caps on the different sizes you can get them off easier definitely get this serpentine belt tool this is the same exact one i have and it is awesome you know you get these about 40 50 bucks because you'll be doing some s belts and this is a great tool i have one that's similar but it doesn't grab it helps you to put on the s belts where you can't reach all the way down there you'll definitely use that You'll use the battery load tester. Um, they'll probably have one in the shop, but it's always good to have one of your own. This one's only 20 bucks. I have the exact same one. Uh, this battery carrier helps you to uh, remove the battery when you have to lift it straight up. This is a very good tool. I have the exact same one and I still use it to this day. Uh, get a little tire inflator with a gauge on it so you can put air in the tires. You'll be doing that when you do oil changes. Very good tool to have. Uh, this is for rating the tread depth on tires. You'll be doing that with every oil change to see if the person needs tires. We need to let them know if they need tires. Uh, the annealing pad will help you when you're kneeling down to uh, set up the lift. You don't want to be hurting your knees. Uh, over time, your knees will wear out. 
little side terminal battery tool for GM side terminal batteries. I have one of these, I use it, and it's not even that much money, so get one. You definitely wanna get a set of metric flex head ratcheting wrenches. My dad got me this set when I was a first was a mechanic and I still have it. Thanks dad, wherever you are, not with us anymore. Uh, so here we go, the offset wrenches. Uh, this is a good tool, about 25 bucks. Uh, you wanna get a stainless steel. This little mag magnetic parts holder. I have a few of these, they're only five bucks. Stay organized. Uh, you got a little magnet, a little mirror, and a little grabber tool. You'll be using that. This is only about 22 bucks. Go ahead and get one of those. I have that same tool little flexible magnet now now we're getting fancy i have one like this too but they're not that much money very handy will definitely help you what else oh uh mirror with a little light on it i don't even have this okay you're gonna have better tools to be in a minute okay i, I need to go back to, and get some more tools but yeah you'll definitely use this and they're not that much money Boom, so for about 700 bucks, you'll have a toolbox, an ASC cert, a service cart, and tools. You are gonna be ready, you are going to get hired, I guarantee you. You wanna watch some YouTube videos on these subjects, how to remove and replace a tire, use a tire balancer, use a vehicle lift, and how to torque lug nuts, because you have to make sure the lug nuts are on properly. So step three, you need a little experience. So you might say, Mike, how am I going to get experience and I don't have a job? Well, you know what? I'm going to help you with that. So if you just keep your shirt on, I'm going to show you how you can get some experience before you make a dime in the shop fixing cars um, for people who pay for it. Okay, so this is how you could do it. Find a local you pull it or pick apart wherever they call them in your area. They're, they are just junkyards for junk cars that people go into the junkyard and they get the part off they, that they want and they go pay for it up front. So you can go in there, it might cost you two bucks to get in there, but you can stay in there for hours and practice on all the old cars. You can practice your S belts, you can practice your headlights, you can practice air filters, you can practice taking apart and putting on every single part of the car and it'll be lots of fun. Bring a friend with you. So and practice on your car. If you have a car, practice on it, okay? But just remember, at some point, you probably will break something on your own car. And you know what? I've done it myself, you know? It's just part of the job. Sometimes you make a mistake. You wanna keep the mistakes to a minimum, though, but they do happen, you're a human being. Even doctors accidentally make mistakes sometimes. So you wanna keep them to a, a minimum, though. You can practice light repairs on your friends and family's cars, okay? Assuming that you like your family, you can, uh, you can work with them to do light jobs like air, uh, air filters, oil filters, batteries, lights, and, you know, they'll appreciate it, and you don't even have to charge them. They might give you some money anyway, but be careful. You don't want to do something on your family's car and have them... The brakes go out and grandma goes into the lake, okay? You don't want that. Grandma does not like to get wet and she's not ready to die yet. So you don't kill her with doing a bad repair on her car. <laughs> um, you know, but seriously, be careful with your friends and family's car because they will not like it if you mess something up. Even if it's free, they're going to want you to pay for it. <laughs> So when you're doing all these things, make a list of every single repair that you perform. If it's a junkyard car, a friends or family car, or your car, you want to put the name, make and model, the repair you did, the date, and have a whole list, type it up, and you're going to attach a copy of this list along with your G1 ASC cert to your, res to your uh, applications and be proud of that cert because you worked hard to get it, you studied, you went and took the test all on your own. If you're a guy or a girl, I guarantee you, if this job application was across my desk with all these things on it, I would hire you. I would call you in for an interview, first of all, but I would definitely hire you if you did a good interview. So you're gonna spend about 700 bucks to be an entry-level mechanic. 
compare that to uh, 20, 30, 40. Some people even tell me it's 50,000 at UTI. Are you out of your freaking minds? I don't think so. Do, never pay that much money. This is ridiculous. This is be a $12 an hour job probably, and you don't need to pay that much. Fill out all your applications, uh, check up on them. If you don't hear back, you'll get a job eventually, I guarantee you. Once you get your first job, this is gonna be awesome. You're gonna be so happy. Uh, you wanna also <clears throat> continue studying at home. You wanna get all your ASEs, become a master tech. Take you two, three years and you'll continue. You'll get paid to work on these cars instead of paying somebody else to uh, go to UTI or Lincoln Tech. It's ridiculous. Save your money instead of going to these places and you'll have actual money instead of the in the bank instead of debts that you owe. You could open up your own shop in a few years. You could start a different business. You could put money down on a house and fix it up like I did. You could buy land. You could invest it in mutual funds and stocks. So work hard, study hard, be honest always, and it'll all work out. I guarantee you, after you do these things, eventually you'll get a job. So this is what you could do to stink and tech and UTI infection once you get your first job.